Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, it was a foreign trip with a little too much tripping. Her aides say she was okay, unlike the last time she tripped while walking to the White House and broke her elbow. She cited that injury when dismissing talk that her role in shaping foreign policy was being diminished. I broke my elbow, not my larynx. She's had a lot of practice boarding and exiting planes. Steps are tricky enough, but imagine having a camera trained on your every arrival and departure. Presidents develop their own style. President Obama prefers to jog. Bill Clinton was more leisurely. And George Bush occasionally clutched the railings, something Gerald Ford should have done. His fall while deplaning in Austria has been embellished with sound effects and lives eternally on YouTube. President Ford even stumbled going up the steps. And it's not just American officials who slip on the airplane stairs while everyone is staring. French President Nicolas Sarkozy managed to stay on his feet, but just barely. So far, President Obama hasn't lost his footing, but he has lost his Blackberry while jogging up the stairs. And he bonked his head while boarding the presidential chopper. But then so did President Bush more than once. And Michelle Obama has banged her head on Air Force One. Even presidential pets know better than to trust those airport steps. President Bush had to give Barney a push to get him to go up, and he had to nudge Spot to get her to go down. As we learned in a Jimmy Kimmel bit, the only thing more treacherous than using the stairs is having them go nowhere. The president was surprised when Air Force One pulled away without him. He suffered only minor bruises. Genie Mose. CNN. New York.